Okay, are these noise disputes, um, what you're hearing too, is it's the children and then, and then, then there's loud talking between the adults? It's, it's that and there's also music as well, there's loud singing as well. Singing? Do you guys sing to the children? You know what? We sing is because that's what we do. So what's wrong with that? As long as we do it at a reasonable hour, maybe they don't like it. So, so what? what? I don't what like their TV being loud. What is, what is I don't go to him saying the TV is being loud. See, now I'm getting right back mad. See? Okay. He picking. That's what, what he's doing. He picking. He picking. He picking. Question. And that's all they do. They come here and they pick and they, they take all our questions. businesses. And look what they do. And then they, all they're doing is, and they own every Jenny. store in the corner, Jenny. and then we can't get nothing, Jenny. and then here we Jenny. go, what's going on? Jenny, it's time out again for you. Let me ask you a really easy question. Oh, I, a real easy question. This is a super easy question. When is it too late to be singing in your mind's eye? You know, for my kids. 10.30. You know what? I'm going a, I'm to a let him say it. 10.30 at night. I'm going to let him say I'm going to let him say Every single night, that is too late I'm to say Okay, I'm going to let you say it. So That's if I want to stay. So I ain't even here trying to hear nothing from him, really. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Well, you did come here with the idea yes, of that's making true. a resolution. That's so. true because I need my kids to have a rule. Hold on, God. Okay. Lord, help me. And, 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 Hold on, and, Lord, help me. You, you, you do want to keep, a, keep, you you keep a roof over their head? Yes, I got to he does want that roof to be his. So you guys have that in common already. I got to do that for my kids. And, and we understand that. Yeah. I have a question for Jenny. Um, is this the first time that you have paid rent and lived in an apartment with your family and your children? Um, yes. Okay. So you've never had to deal with a, um, a landlord before. So going into this new experience, what would you have liked the relationship between you and your landlord to look like? I want it to be good because I got the kids. I'm just, I'm trying. I'm a single mom on welfare. And, and my husband, he, I got to take care of him. And it's, it's, that's, and I'm just struggling. I'm struggling. And I just want some peace so I can make it. And, I, you know, that's all. Yeah. I think that's something that we can, we can all uh, focus on because um, for you, you want, you you say you, you need the money every week. It was an oral agreement between you two. Um, yes. And this is her first time here. Um, but she does want a good relationship with you. And that's why we're here. We want to get back to a good relationship. Do you think that's reasonable? I mean, the, the way she's acting now, I mean, you guys see the problems I have. What, what I, I, you know, considering how this is going, I want my money and I want her to move out. I'm done with it. It is ridiculous. The way she's acting is ridiculous. I want my two hundred and seventy-five, and I want her to go. When you say when you say ridiculous, how should she be acting in your mind's eye? We are here to. I am calm. I am cool. I am collected. She is screaming. She's interrupting. She she has no respect for you. You see what I say? There is. I I just. I am done with it. I, it's over. I I do need the business, but if this is how she's going to act, even at the mediation session, I don't see the point. So what you would prefer her to be would just be quiet all the time and hand you over the money on a weekly basis? Is that what you're saying? Not quiet all the time. I don't run it like, it, like strict, 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 but when I have seven other people complain all the time, it's, it's not worth it. I don't, I, it's how she acts in her house during so the day, that's, that's her. But at night, everybody needs to sleep, everyone has work to go to, maybe not her because she's on welfare, but at the end of the day, people need their, when, when it's night time, people want to sleep, and with it being loud all the time, it's it's, it's bad for business. So you say all seven other tenants have complained about yes. this? I have, I have a so small... You have, you have the whole building is filled right now? No, not every... I, it's an eight-building apartment, but there are a number... The, the number of people in there is about seven or eight so far. Oh, okay. Okay. I have, I have about 25% vacancy right now, and if I have people like this living in my place, it's going to get either larger or stay there. When you say like this, you mean... Loud and disrespectful. Oh, loud. Jenny, um, before you came to the apartment building, you said you hadn't had an experience before. Where were you living before? Just with my parents, but I mean, I, I did, I just, I, I apologize though. Just, even if you don't want me in the apartment, I apologize because I'm just 25 years old. I, I'm, 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 I'm a single mom. And I'm just, I'm, I ain't never been on welfare. I just got on welfare, been on welfare for two years. 
and, and my husband, he just a bum, and I just took it out on you. I, you know, I guess I just took it out on the first man I saw. Um, I have something and for just, Jenny. Uh, Gus, since you are an immigrant here, um, and even she is new to welfare, um, and you are so concerned about getting that rent payment every week, um, like you guys agreed to, and you need the money, um, could you please explain to him what the DSS statement would do for both of you? It again, it keep a roof over my kids' head, and it it give you can like you said, you wanted the the apartment to to stay vacant, uh, uh and um, and it keep I can be in there. You can collect your money and keep your business going, like you were saying. And I'll continue to have my money, even though I ain't working. But the DSS, the DSS statement, that um. It, it, I, with the government, see, I just how the government work over here. When you're doing the welfare, that's coming. That's always going to come. So you always going to get your money on time. Because they always on time. So, if I'm understanding right, if I'm, what I've heard is, is Gus, if you sign this DSS statement, um, the, the welfare department will send you the rent on a routine and timely basis. Is, yes. that, is yes, that correct? Sir. Yes, sir. Is that something that yes. would appeal to you, getting a, a weekly check that you could count on? It would, but what about the three weeks she's not paid? They're not going to pick up, take up that tab. What so, about the 225 I'm owed? So that is a good question. Um, Jenny, because of that DSS statement being in limbo, there has been some back rent. Is there anything you can do to take care of that? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do something about that. I can work on that. I'm just give me a chance when, to work on that because they you send say, me. When you say, me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my fault. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. Please go ahead. I mean, they, they, I, I, they send me some money. I, I, honestly, I got some money. I got three hundred dollars in my pocket. So she has money, but she continues to refuse to pay. I you just got the money though. You said you had the money though. You well, I just, just got, just got I just money. got the money though. <laughs> And, we're and but but I didn't know I just got the money but I didn't know how you was gonna act so hey I keep the money and so cause, cause if you gonna act funny then I'm gonna go and take this three hundred dollars in my pocket and I'm gonna keep a roof over my kids head I'm, whatever I gotta do I'm, I have something I want to clarify just for my purposes <laughs> because I don't know well for that well either Gus what I'm hearing Jenny say is when this DSS is signed contractually. The government has to give her the money. And not just that, they've given her $300 already before. So you guys have an oral agreement set in place, but the government is signing something that will give her the money to pay you every week. Is that correct, Jenny? Yes. Okay. And as far as the back rent that you are concerned about, uh, we came here today with the idea of solving the situation. One of the part of the situation was the back rent. So Jenny says she does have the money for that back rent. As long as you two can come to an agreement as far as the living situation, I think that that rent is there for you. At what point in time, though, is this one of those situations where, yes, I'll pay you, and then I never see the money? I want deadline for that. I want the money as soon as possible. You know what? I, I believe that setting goals and deadlines are, is part of this process, and I would agree with you. Um, but I think in order to get to that deadline process, we need to get to a couple other steps beforehand. Um, you had said that there's an issue as far as consistent noise. Um, she had said that there is um, an issue as far as consistent harassment. So somewhere in between, we need to figure out what's going on. And we need to come to an agreement. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't yeah. you agree? No. I'm, not a fan of the, I'm not a fan of the it's word not. harassment that you it's, use. It's, okay. It shouldn't be a harassment for me. To, I shouldn't have to go to her every single week and ask for the rent. It should be there. It, the, it, she continues to talk about this welfare thing about how I refuse to sign DTS statement, but I do that every time because when I when she gives me the statement, I ask, "Do you have rent?" I'm not going to let her suck money out of the government. It's just, just been hard for me. That's all. It's just been hard for me. It's been, been hard for me. It's been hard for me. And I'm going to find how many times I got to tell Jenny. Jenny, see, Jenny, you need to stop yelling. It's been hard for me. I understand, but yelling isn't going to make it any easier. Wouldn't you agree? Sir, you understand that the, 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 I'm sorry it's been 